what were some highs for you in 2018? Well, I think, Pat, uh, I have to go to the first month, of course, of uh, 2018, which was uh, January, and we had the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, in the riding of Sagu President Jesse Cook. The first time, I believe, that we had a sitting Prime Minister doing a major event in the riding of Sagu President Jesse Cook. That by itself is quite impressive. Chu, him being here doing a town hall, listening to the people of the riding and surrounding areas to ask questions, to, to answer those questions. Uh, I mean, it's not every day that you get to, to see the Prime Minister and, and to have an opportunity to ask those questions. Uh, and see so many people, over 1,500 people were out in the gymnasium at Sackville High. That was definitely a, a highlight in, uh, for me. Also, uh, I would have to say that having uh, about at least five ministers came into the riding throughout the year. Uh, we had Minister Pilipa for Health, uh, who was uh, uh, in Spr Springfield Lake in Upper Sackville. We had uh, her as well in uh, Cow Bay by the Eastern uh, Passage area. We had veteran uh, of uh, uh, veteran affairs, Seamus, who who was down in Camp Hill with us downtown Halifax. But as you know, many of our uh, veterans mm -hmm. and uh, I have the biggest riding of uh, veterans and military in the province of Nova Scotia and the highest in the country per capita. So it was very nice to have him come down to Camp Hill and to see uh, the great facility and to meet with many of our veterans and their families. Uh, that was definitely a, a highlight for me as well. Uh, we had other uh, ministers come in. Uh, Garneau was in for an event uh, about a month ago. Uh, and of course, the first astronaut on the moon, that's pretty impressive. And he's Minister of Transportation. So once again, uh, you know, highlights when you were able to bring these uh, key uh, individuals to the riding so they can see for themselves. I had Minister Duclos as well come in and we did a tour in the in Chesicook area, down in Porter's Lake, Lake Echo. Uh, again, uh, very important talking about uh, national housing strategy. Uh, again, very important to, to bring these people uh, to the table. The other one, which I have to say, is uh, Viola Desmond. I mean, think about that. Yeah. Viola Desmond, uh, who yeah. was recognized uh, for her uh, dedication and inspiration uh, for civil rights and, and, and uh, defended her cause uh, when she, of course, went to a theater in New Glasgow and then, and then uh, fought it uh, right through, uh, and a leader in, in civil rights. I mean, and here in, in Nova Scotia and having uh, a ceremony at the Black Cultural Center in, in Preston, uh, very, very uh, touching, emotional, and, and very nice to see the, the community celebrating uh, this recognition, and then of course being on a ten dollar bill. Every time you oh, take out yeah. the ten dollar bill, you, see you know uh, it's a great opportunity to you, and also to think about what she did uh, and her leadership uh, in, in that area as well. Um, also, Pat, I'd have to say that the we did a lot of work. We you see Camp Hill Hospital is one of the only ones left in Canada that is focused on on veterans and and, and military uh, people and and. When you think about it, uh, there was really no big change since in the 19, uh, well, up to 215. The, the initially, I think around the 1900s, we had, of course, the creation of Camp Hill, where it was focused on, on uh, World War I veterans. And then in the 50s, we started talking about World War II and Korean War. And then no real change uh, until 216, uh, where our government, uh, uh, with the... Uh, advocacy, of course, uh, of, of myself and, and the other MPs in Nova Scotia, that we needed to open uh, the doors uh, much wider. As you know, back in 2012, 13, 14, 15, the Conservative government had looked at, at uh, possibly closing one wing and then possibly the closing. When I first got to Ottawa, they were talking about wanting to close uh, Camp Hill. And there's no way that was going to happen under our uh, guard and responsibility and, and we work very hard to open a second category which is really other wars and allies because of, of, of the changes in the needs uh, that had changed and, and the pressures uh, that, uh, that we need to ensure that we have acceptable uh, accommodation for our veterans that uh, sacrificed their, their life for, for us, for our country and their families of course. 
And then that was 2 to uh, 16. Then we just did it again and added another 25 to that category uh, because, again, the needs are increasing in that area, but decreasing in World War One. Of course, there's none left today, uh, and then World War Two and Korean War. So as the numbers are dropping in that category, the, the, the challenges are, are, are increasing in another category, and that's what we were able to do. So, so I, I, you know, that's one of the most uh, important uh, success stories, I think, that we're not hearing enough about. And now, of course, Camp Hill, we, we have another challenge now is what do we do with a spousal I mean, having access to, and we're looking at trying to find a solution for that. But those, uh, that's definitely some of the highlights.